Hey everyone, it's Dave here. In this video, I just wanted to show you the spoken content accessibility feature on iPad. This one's great for all types of learners. And I just wanted to show you how to set that up. So you're just gonna to go to the accessibility feature here. You're gonna come across here to what's called spoken content. And by default, you'll see most of these are turned off. So you need to go and turn these on. Now, the first one I'd suggest you have a look at is the speak screen option. You can see that that's the shortcut there by swiping two fingers down from the top of the screen activates that. So let's turn that on. But by turning that on, it also adds what's called the speech controller. Okay, so we're just gonna turn that one on as well and turn that there. So what you would have noticed now is that the speech controller is now on. So this little widget here is the speech controller and it allows you to press on the text to select a paragraph or a word and allows you to pause or start uh, the reading and it also allows you to change the pace in which uh, the text is read. So by toggling on that you can speed it up uh, to double speed or slow it down to half speed. So you can play around with that whichever suits your personal preference. Okay, so now that you've got the speak screen and show controller option turned on, let's go have a look at how you'd apply that. So I'm just going to open up a uh, everyone can create book, for example. Now the feature that we turned on was the two finger swipe down from the top of the screen. So let's just do that one to see what that sounds Chapter like. Chapter 5, Portraits. Activity 2, Trace the Face Tracing on top of a photo can help you get accurate proportions for more realistic results. Portraits 44, Tip. The more you practice, the better you get at drawing portraits. Try tracing. Okay, and use the speech controller just to pause that when you've uh, had enough of that. But you can see it sort of definitely shows that it highlights everything that's on that screen. So that could be a good feature or it could be a little bit overwhelming for some. So you may prefer to use the speech selection tool, which is clicking on and using the finger. Now when you uh, select the text that you want read, so for example, I might just want this tip option selected here, I can Tip, the more that. you practice, the better you get at drawing portraits. Try tracing multiple faces so you can improve your sketching. Okay, and you notice that it just reads that paragraph rather than reading everything on screen. So you can be a bit more selective around what you have read to you on screen. What you may have noticed was that speech selection feature didn't uh, highlight the text as it spoke. So that's just one, uh, I suppose, downfall of the using the finger to select the text. Uh, but if you do like the highlight of the text as it reads, then you may want to turn this option on instead. So just click back to the home button, back into accessibility features and into the spoken context. And what you want to turn on is this one here. It's called the speech selection option. So when you come back into your book, if you click and hold on the text and then just drag those little uh, selection tool to where you want it to read and you'll notice now as a secondary function you have this option called speak. When you click on that, add your photo to sketch a school, tap, then the down arrow, then the check mark. Reducing the opacity makes it easier to trace over your image. So using that feature there, it changes the text as it's read and also has a, a highlighted color for both the background and the text that's being read. So to change how the text is highlighted, you just go back into the accessibility features and come back into accessibility, under spoken content, and you come down to the highlight content option. And here you can choose to highlight words individually in sentences or words and sentences. You can have an underline. You can also have background colors. Word colors can be chosen here. Uh, you've got a few to choose from and same with a sentence color as well. So uh, there's some of the options if you want to turn that on uh, or off and you can choose the highlight content option here as well. Some of the other features you might like to come and have a look at are the voices. So you can click on that option and there's lots of different languages to choose from, but uh, under, under English, you can click on this one. And then in, in Australia, you can choose between Karen, Lee, or the Siri female and male options. You will need to download some of those if you haven't already, uh, but you can uh, just select the one you like and then that will be the one you choose, you can also preview Hello, those. Hello, my name is Karen. 
Hi, Karen. Okay, so that gives you an example of how you can uh, change the voices for any of the spoken content on uh, iPad. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful, and I think the spoken content features of the iPad are really going to present some exciting learning opportunities for students, whether it be in the classroom or at home during remote learning. I think these features are going to really make students um, who may not have the uh, reading endurance or the comprehension skills to fully understand the task or the text. And I feel like these spoken content features are really going to enable students to work independently in the classroom or during remote learning if needed. So I hope you enjoyed these, this video. And if you did, uh, please like or subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, there'll be plenty more of these videos to follow.